It's been here since 1921, the original HMV store in London's Oxford Circus. Record stores have had their day, unfortunately. When I was younger, I used to come in here every week. I used to love it. HMV declared bankruptcy in the UK last December. Who would have thought that the record store where the Beatles recorded their demo would go out of business? Now the chain may have new life, thanks to a Canadian that British papers are calling a saviour who will rescue the company. But don't tell him that. Honestly, I find it flattering. I'm starting to blush right In I Hamilton, Ontario, this is the so-called saviour, Doug Putman, a 34-year-old business school dropout. You know, I just keep saying I feel lucky that we were able to do it. Because our customer really likes to actually leaf through it. We're in one of the 85 stores Putman owns in Canada, the Sunrise Records chain. It was HMV Canada until 2017, when that part of the chain went bankrupt. Putman bought it, rebranded every location as Sunrise, and started turning a profit. We know we did it in Canada. We know we're going to do it in the UK. So this is just our toy distribution warehouse. He'll need all his business know-how, which he developed here at his family's toy distribution company. My parents started it uh, 25 years ago, so uh, my dad was a steel worker at Stelco for many years mm -hmm. and uh, remortgaged his house with my mom and took $50,000 and said, let's try it. He started running the company at age 23 and expanded the operation. The music business, though, presents a special type of challenge. You can pay Spotify or Apple Music a very small amount per month, $10, $12. And theoretically, I'll say theoretically because there's a few exceptions, but theoretically you've got all the music in the world available to you. Despite that, this industry observer thinks with the right product mix, Putman has a shot at success. He's clearly got a good formula, and I might go 50-50, maybe even 60-40 in his favour. I hope it works. How's it going? In London, at HMV head office, Putman is starting to work with product managers. I mean, it doesn't seem like we get much supplier support. So it's not a level playing field at the moment. The challenges are the digital window, which has been there a while now. A hundred stores in the UK will keep the HMV name, but switch to his Sunrise formula. More music-related merchandise, vinyl showcased at the front of the store, wider selection. We've got 1,600 people that work for us that rely on us to get that paycheck every week, and we can't fail. We have to deliver. He has a lot of work to do to earn his savior status. Diane Buckner, CBC News, Hamilton, Ontario.